Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what's up? <laughs> it's Z on the cut. <laughs> right guys, uh, welcome to the third episode of the Fitness Talk with Z Miyazi. And we're currently busy with Cardio Box 101. And I don't know, you know, on the last video, I was busy fiddling with the, with the truck top. I was wearing it, it it's got like some... I'm a cape, I'm a, I'm a lent, I'm a strings, and I was busy tying them, and I was busy doing this, and which was actually annoying, because when I was listening to it, I could hear it, uh, uh, this table on the mic, and it was not nice. And, and now I just see from the beginning of this, I'll start touching my ears. It seems like I'm so nervous about what I'm doing. Hey, guys, uh, this is not easy. I'm frustrated. I'm not trying to be the best presenter in the world. I'm just trying to to share uh, some work. And and today, as I promised on the last on the last episode, I'm going to share uh, about teaching methods. Ah, oh, damn man, that's a long one. Right, like I said, I'm not writing this down. Uh, you can use any teaching methods that you know any any names and, and, and all that stuff. There's a couple of teaching methods that I used, uh, used in the group exercise space. You, you can go and learn them. Uh, add on methods, uh, add in methods, link methods, uh, pyramid reduction methods. Oh, what's another one? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's the one that we, we usually use. Oh, holding pattern. Uh, but but there is one that we used to use called the uh, oh, it's called the thunder method. Uh, meaning you. It's a visual preview. There's another method. It's a visual preview, but it's done in a manner that is so fast because you don't put the glass on a holding pattern before you demonstrate it. Okay, let's just go through a couple of teaching methods. And, and I might miss some, because to be honest, when I teach, I use, I, I will explain, I will explain, let me explain that later. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to mention a few, I might leave out some. If you're watching this video and you know some methods I did not mention, please mention them on the video, uh, because uh, I'm not a theory expert of this thing. I may not be a practical expert either, but I'm just sharing what I know. So let's start with with the, the first method I'm going to use is uh, is a is a pyramid reduction. So pyramid re reduction is like this: you do in cardio box class. You start your class with cross punches. Remember last week I said I was going to do it here. Yeah. Cuts up. You start punching. And you punch the whole block. When the block ends, you start doing uppercuts, right? Uh, I believe in a 64 count move, you will punch 32 times. And uh, in a in a sorry in a yeah, in a block you will punch 16 times. So you, you go for a block punching 16 times, then 16 times uppercuts. Finish. You now cut that. You punch eight times crosses and eight times uppercuts then you cut that you punch four times crosses and four times uppercut you cut that you punch two times crosses and two times uppercut and that's what you wanted so that is called a pyramid reduction so it's a pyramid but now it's upside down starting from the top you do more and you start chopping down half 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 until you get what you desire so that type is called a pyramid reduction i'm sure a lot of people know it sorry to bore you about that and how, and how many <laughs> why is this moving so fast already on four minutes and then you move to the next one uh, add on method you do two crosses two uppercuts right mm, two crosses two uppercuts and then you go two crosses two uppercuts knee knee now you've added on what was happening 
So you had two crosses, two uppercuts. Then on top of that, you add the two knees. Then you've got an add-in method. So you've got a cross, match, cross, match, cross, match. Now you want to add something in this, you go cross, one, two, three. Now you've added something inside this movement. Yeah. Then you've got the link method. Simple, you teach move A, cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Yeah, we got it. Knee lift, knee lift. Now that's the second move. Knee lift, knee lift. Then after that, cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, knee lift, and knee lift. That's the link method. Now, someone else will give you another way of explaining it. I gave you the simplest form. I just gave you the simplest form of, of this teaching method. Then you've got a holding pattern. Cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, bob and weave four times. Cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, bob and weave four times. Now, cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, knee, and knee. Now, you've got... That's an add-on, but now before you did the add-on, you had a, 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 a bob and weave, which was a holding pattern. Then there is a visual preview. <laughs> visual preview is simple. You do something, uh, you, you, you teach him, and then uh, on, the, on, the, on the manuals that we use, they will tell you that you put a class on a holding pattern, and then you show the movement and then you tell them to come and join you how we do visual preview is how i told you on the on the on how i do visual previews how i told you on the last uh, uh, episode on episode two is that whilst they are still busy with this movement you introduce another one whilst they are viewing then they can join but the visual preview on the manual is you punching Cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, cross, cross, uppercut, uppercut, match. Then you see, now watch. Cross, you do alone as an instructor. Uppercut, uppercut, knee. Now, for those that love to perform, I think visual preview will be best for them. Uppercut, knee, and then let's go. Then people join you and you all go, which is beautiful. But there's one thing I always say. None of these teaching methods should go alone. Why am I saying this? If you are teaching a movement, you can use different teaching methods to get to the same movement. Uh, you can take one movement, you use a particular teaching method for it. You can use a different teaching method on the next class to teach the same movement. And then on the other class, you can use two different types of teaching methods. But the aim should always be to the aim should always be to get the easiest way to teach a particular method. You know, and if you can't get the easiest way, then uh, it's just a teaching method. Then then it's not a it's not a teaching method. It's a showman method. So all teaching methods should actually be making movements easier. That way we know Uti, at least we are getting our people to move, we are getting to, yeah. I don't know if <laughs> this is making sense. So on the same video, I'm also going to add something else, which is the same thing that we spoke about in the last video. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate it and then on this case on how many minutes nine minutes when I'm editing I must remember this On this part I will use music. So I'll use one of my mixes one of my CDs called uh, Give Guest Fitness Music Volume 2 And it's available on Spotify. It's available on, 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 on Tidal and all the other streaming streaming platforms uh, it's my music, you can use it. I'm giving you permission to use it. Uh, but if you are going to make money, just let me know so that uh, we can have a conversation. Maybe I'll take, I'll ask for 5% of what, of what you're going to make. But it's music, it's safe to use. I will not, I will not throw you under the bus. Right now, let's play it. 
and 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 and, and I will demonstrate the yeah. what I was talking about that if a move is four counts and how do you introduce it? If a move is eight counts, how do you introduce it? And let's go. So let's play the music. We're almost done now. Ten minutes. We left with about four minutes. Let's go. So there you go. The floor starts. So the people are doing this movement. Punch, move, punch. Now it's on the block. Right? So that's the move that they are doing. They are busy. There. I want to introduce one punch and three knees. Nah, they are busy. Now, one punch and three knees is eight counts. Punch, knee, knee, knee. And they start with me. You see? We are together in this. Nah, let's do it again. Four, three, two, they are here. Cross, move, cross, move, cross, move, cross. I'm going to introduce now. Last eight, punch, knee, 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 and punch. Now they are joining me. Why? Because that's where the music starts. So, uh, or with all the moves. Now let's do an example with a four count move. And let's use a different song. So they are doing the same move. They are going cross, move, cross, move, cross, move, cross. Now I'm going to introduce one punch and one knee. Punch, knee, punch, knee. Ah, I introduced it on eight. Ne? Let me introduce it when there are four counts left. So they are there. Punch, move, punch, move. So, one, two, three, four, punch, knee, and go. So, you're doing it when there are four counts left. Let's do it for the last time. Yeah, please. Punch, move, punch, move. One, two, three, four, punch, knee, punch, knee, punch. I hope you get it. So, but what you should remember is that when you're doing kick, the hands and the knees will always start on one. That means your feet will be on the even numbers. So if you want to get to a four, you put one on your left. One, two, three, four. Step on four and start punching. Yeah, that's how you you introduce uh, those movements. That was a bit of a demonstration. I, I, hope, I hope it works. I hope it works. So now let me just demonstrate a, a, a one of, let me just teach a movement whilst I'm sitting here and, 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 and see how we can, we can do it. So, okay, let me get another song. So, cross, 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 knee. Cross, cross, cross. So, I'm going to do a holding pattern on the same move before I add anything. Now we go cross, 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 knee, or believe. So of course, I will still remember what I did on the last song. So let, let me do it that way. So cross, 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 knee, cross, three more now. Eh? Now two more I go cross, 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 knee, and hold. Join me, cross, 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 knee, and hold. That's a holding pattern doing a paper, paper pop and weave. Now I'm going to add a, another knee on the same movement. I go cross, 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 knee, knee, pop and weave. But now this one I have to pop twice and then march so that I come back to the other, to the same side. Cross, 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 knee, knee, one, two, cross, cross, is it, is it right? Knee, knee, one, two, and march. Cross, 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 knee, knee, one, two, and march. Get it? Then I can add a kick if I want. Four, three, two, one. Cross, 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 
knee, knee and kick, lift the foot and go again. So those are some of, of, of the basic. Uh, 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 uh. Now each and every movement that you are going to teach in your class, you have to consider these things, you have to apply these things. And, and with more experience, they come naturally. You don't even know how you're going to teach, what move you're going to teach, and on what method, but you just have an idea what structure you're going to use. And on that structure, you can just fit in a movement, you know. Uh, I'm not sure, man. Uh, I'm not sure where we are. I'm not sure if everyone is with me, because you guys don't really comment, so I don't really know how, how if I'm going too fast, if I'm a bit slow, but I'm trying. I'm just going to be here until somebody opens up and we start having this conversation con conversations uh yeah on that note thank you very much to everybody that has watched thank you for you guys liking the videos because it's very important and and that way youtube gets to show it to more people remember i said this type of cardio box is dying it's not dying because it's a bad type of cardio box it's dying because of trends maybe it's not even dying but like when i look at the people who are teaching the people who are coming into aerobics this is not the what they are coming into they are coming into uh, uh, flamboyant things and 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 all about shining and 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 always less about teaching i personally like i've said on this first video i don't have a problem with that but i just feel that we need to have a pool of instructors that will serve the people who want to go to the gym, who want to go to events and work out in a manner that's going to challenge them, in a manner that's going to improve their punches, their knee strikes, their kicks, in a manner that's going to, uh, I don't know man, in a manner that's going to be exercise like other than uh, 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 being a fun thing just fun because remember in our body we've got happy hormones and those happy hormones they get released whenever we feel pain whenever we've been touched whenever we are around people whenever 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 so we cannot take a shortcut it's like now if you are going to do a move that excites people uh, you making them to release hormones without them doing the work it's the same thing that alcohol does in in a person alcohol makes you release dopamine without achieving anything so why must you release endorphins whereas you haven't really worked you know that's another question that i'm asking so these are kind of things that when we talk about them you like it sounds as if you are trying to diss people but we're just being honest and i will continue being honest but i'm not going to be honest in a destructive way I'm going to be honest in a manner that builds our people. Guys, please share this video so that we can preserve this way of training. Please comment, please share, please subscribe to my channel. Please tell more people about this movement and let's 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 start something uh you know. On that note, guys, thank you very much. I am out of here. Peace. I hope you enjoyed that one.